Hello viewers, my name is Chandras and welcome to this, the third in the Guildhall Open Talk series. In this short video, my good friend and colleague, Ron Cambridge, will be looking at the banking and in particular the financial services industry as a whole from a marketing mix point of view. I hope you find what she has to say interesting and enlightening. Thank you very much. Hi. I'm here to talk to you about the financial services industry and I wish to do it in a very simple way through analysing the marketing mix and its application in the financial services industry. The marketing mix is a series of peas, not the sort of peas that we eat. So let's see what peas I'm talking about. The first pea is the product and the financial services products are everywhere. For example, everyone has a bank account, but financial services is not just a simple bank account. There is insurance, there are derivatives, shares, options, futures, bonds, all very scary words. But here in the banking and finance degree in London Metropolitan University, we tackle these scary words and they're not so scary anymore. Another P is a place. Here we are in, the, in London, the um, city of London, the heart of the financial services industry. But place isn't just a geographical thing, it's more and more virtual. So a lot of transactions take place online. If you choose to study banking and finance here at London Met, this is one of the things you will tackle, IT for financial services. Another P that we can consider is the process in which financial services take place. Financial services, unlike a tangible product, don't take place just in one transaction. It's in fact a series of transactions. So if, for example, we take a mortgage, buying a mortgage, it is not just the mortgage and the interest paid on it, but other transactions that go with it, for example, the surveyor's report, the solicitors, exchange of contracts, tax and stamp duties, and all these transactions need to be just right within that process. Which brings me to another P, which is price. Because each of these elements within the process has a price attached to it. And when a mortgage is offered to an individual, the financial services provider needs to consider the costs associated with each of these transactions and the legal side that goes with it. So I mentioned, for example, the fees, the tax duties that go with a mortgage and therefore the legal side comes into it. Another P that we may consider is promotion. And the first thing that comes to mind when we talk about promotion is the advertising. And again, it is not a simple question of advertising, but it's the fact of instilling the trust, the brand of that financial services provider within people's mind. And why is that important? Because without trust, financial services industries cannot operate. And I think the financial crisis of four or five years ago is a good example of that. The last P I want to consider is people. And this is when you come in. You are the financial service provider providing a service. You need to understand the whole system. You need to know how to deal with people from a customer service point of view, but also from operations point of view. And here at London Met, we offer development of such skills through working with other organizations, other banks, like for example State Street Bank, to develop employability skills, soft skills that prepare graduates to work in the financial services industry.